Yeah, why don't you dead with me? It'll be a lot of fun, says Mr. P. Rubish. I'm not really having that much fun. It hurts. All right, Pete, this is the most weight ever lifted in super training. What are you thinking about right before you do these lifts sometimes? I hold this weight. Yeah. Every, every time I go into a, a set or a warm up or whatever, it's always, I own this weight. You can't touch me, and I got it. And that confidence is what you have to have. You have to go in. If there's any trace of doubt, you're not going to get it. You have to know that this is your weight, you own it, it's over. Say, uh, it manifests we, itself. You just say what you said yesterday. You said, I come into super training and no matter what, you're going to give it your all. Yeah, I've got a torn hamstring. It doesn't matter. It's like my hamstring was black and blue. It's still black and blue. I don't care. I came here to do this. I'm going to knock it out. I feel good. Here we go, motherfucker. Let's go. Mark Belton, Super Training Gym, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. We have a special guest on this day, and as you can see, we've got the washer and dryer right behind the platform there, Silent Mike. And if you guys don't know about the washer and dryer, do yourself a favor and go YouTube some of the old uh, Pete Rubish's um, deadlift videos. Although, he is one of my favorite power lifters. I do not emulate his style of craziness, but he is very intense, very motivating, uh, and the what boy is, knows what, how to get he, after it. What's he doing with this? He's about to throw it through your wall. Yeah, he's just going crazy. You gotta love those old videos of Pete Rubish, and you have to love kind of the evolution of uh, YouTube, and the fact that uh, this guy was kind of on the forefront, pumping out a lot of videos, doing uh, YouTube-y type stuff, uh, before it was cool. He was doing powerlifting before it was cool. And, uh, yeah, jokingly and, on the podcast, I yeah. asked him if he invented fucking deadlifts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know, those old videos of him, he's, uh, he's deadlifting in his garage, he's got that light, just that little light bulb, uh, you know, everyone has like a garage or basement that they remember like that, that they either had themselves or their uncle had. But he's just fucking down there, just just putting in a lot of work and uh, the heart and determination is something that can't be denied. And I think that's why you have a huge amount of people that really like the guy. I think if you played, and he was a teenager at the time, and I think yeah. if you played sports in high school uh, or even lifted weights in high school or even your early 20s, how much emotion you put into it. You know, yeah. you're not mature enough to control your anger. You're not mature enough to control your sadness. So you're just beating the shit out of whatever the fuck's in front of you. And, and Pete's a, a great <laughs> a representative of that. He kind of has like that Mr. T thing going on when Mr. T's training. You know, they show those old training montages or when Rocky's training in, in, uh, in Rocky IV. Just kind of doing things the hard way, almost on purpose. Yeah, he just goes nuts. And, and <laughs> he's built to deadlift, and he knows that, and he deadlifts like a motherfucker. And then on top of that, he trains like crazy. And uh, one of the reasons why we brought him out here to super training, uh, we, it's been long overdue. We've been wanting to bring him out for a long time. He did come to the backyard meet of the century years and years ago and uh, did probably one of the most inspirational squats I've ever seen in my goddamn life. He did a 661-pound uh, squat that took him probably four minutes to complete. Um, but we've been really wanting to bring him out here for a long time. And then recently, uh, on the Instagrams, he's been blowing up PR after PR after PR. And I think he did uh, like 825, then 845, then 865, and then finally he did an 880 pull. And it was all within, each one was four days away from each other. What the hell kind of recovery method is that, Mike? Yeah, I think he was squatting twice a week, deadlifting twice a week, and like benching twice a week, just training like a motherfucker and just adding more weight, more weight, more weight. There's a PR from me. <laughs> I'm, I might be old, I might be fat, I might be retired, but I'm not dead. I was pretty fast too, especially if people go check out uh, Mark's old video of him like pulling 699 at the meet. That looked like a smoke show compared to that, you know? That's from those slow motion pulls that I've been doing. I think they've really been helping. I think that's that juvenile, right? Slow mm -hmm. motion for me. Slow, slow motion. motion for me. Slow motion for you. <laughs> It's uh, really been helping a ton. You know, one thing to, to keep in mind is I have only been doing them for a few weeks, so um, it, you know the impact of them is not fully felt yet. But uh, so far, so good. I, they've given me a about a 30-pound PR. I did a 699 deadlift, but that was forever ago. More recently, the most I've pulled in a long time is 675. On top of that. Um you know, easy, I don't want to. I don't want to speak, speak for you, but you've been doing the pause deadlifts of late. But then over the last year, you've probably been doing a lot more volume in your in your deadlifts. Yeah, you've been training yeah. like a motherfucker on. Yeah, a little so bit. So all more, that adds up. A little bit more reps, and just um, you know, I, I pick up little pieces from people, and uh, not everything. I, you know, I don't always want to do everything that I hear, but I try to take what I can. Here's uh, Pete going for 900 pound pull, and he had kind of a torn hamstring going <laughs> on this day, and uh, just couldn't get enough momentum to get that weight going but it, he blew the weight off the ground so I was when I was standing next to him I got goosebumps I thought that that thing was gonna go you know all the way I thought he's gonna be able to lock that thing out but it just wasn't uh, wasn't meant to be 
Strength is never weakness, and that is it from Super Training Gym. Leave us a like or you're off the team. Leave a comment down below. And if you want to watch other videos from the strongest gym in the West, click right here. If you want the best lifting gear in the game from howmuchyoubench.net, click over here. Right here.